All right, hi guys, and welcome back. So this week we are focusing on color theory. So our standard is we are gonna be able to label and discuss the color wheel. And then our learning target is I can label and discuss the color wheel. So you like my fun little bitmoji? Good, I'm in Paris. So moving on to the second slide, you are going to do this career spotlight and you are going to pull down the control button. So on your keyboard, it is at the very bottom left hand corner and it's CTRL and you want to hold that down, that button down, and then you are going to uh, left click on your mouse and or double click on your touch screen uh, to get the colors consultant that web page to populate and then on the next slide from the reading you are going to jot down what does a color consultant do what is the educational requirement and what is the salary and so from here that is where you are going to go up and you're going to uh, click insert and you're going to click text box and then you're going to drag this and then from here you are going to type the question what does a color consultant do and then from there you are going to write out your answer from the reading from here okay moving on to the next slide slide five you have another warm-up I want you now to write a paragraph describing your favorite color and why you like it so much how does it make you feel and then from there you are again you're gonna go up you're gonna click on insert text box drag and drop and then from there you are going to write your response to that question describing your favorite color and why you like it so much and how does it make you feel then we're going to go into a work session so you're going to be taking the color personality quiz on the next slide you must view it in the present mode for the links to work so in order to do that, you need to go up to slideshow and from current slide, which will now populate and you will go to that next slide. And I have hyperlinked all of these different colors. All right. So that is how that this slide is going to work. Okay. So everything's going to be hyperlinked for you here and you're going to read each of these colors and I want you to start thinking, what does your favorite color say about your personality? Do you agree? Now I want you to ask a friend and see if they agree with what your color personality, with what your color says about your personality. And so then you are now going to go on to slide nine and you're going to respond to what is your favorite color and you're going to type that out and then what does your favorite color say about your personality uh, you need to come up with that reason and that response from what your color that you chose what it says about you and then do you agree that's a yes or no question and now I want you to ask a friend and see if they agree with what your color says about your personality and write your response. What does your friend have to say about it? Do they agree? And then finally, I want you to interview someone by asking them what their favorite color is. And then you're going to take them and you're going to read to them what their favorite color is. And then you're going to ask them from the results of the color matches, do they think their favorite color matches their personality? And then write their response here, okay? So now you have that work session. Read color slides and complete the, interacti uh, the interactive activities on each slide. So we're gonna be going into some 
a lot of stuff here. So we're going to go into color theory, the element of color. And the color wheel is a tool that artists use to help them make choices about colors. It helps them because it allows them to see the relationships between colors. So on this color wheel, you can see the primary colors in the middle triangle right here. So red, yellow, and blue. And then on the secondary uh, triangle, those are the secondary colors. That will be orange, purple, and green. And so now I want you to drag and drop the three primary colors from this sidebar over here into the box below. So you're just going to drag and drop. Now moving on. These are all interactive activities for you, so you have to complete them. So did you know that the primary colors can be mixed together to create secondary colors? So using the drag and drop circles located on the sidebar, complete the color, complete the color mixing equations. What does red and yellow make? If you need help, you can check out the color wheel on the last slide, okay? But I want you to try to figure this out. So these, prim these are the primary colors, and primary colors make secondary colors. Moving on. Perfect. Now that we've got the primary and the secondary color down, now it's time to take a look at our color wheel. So you'll notice that with the primary and secondary colors filled in, we still have six blank spots right here, all these white spots. Those, those spots belong to the tertiary or intermediate colors. Those are colors that are created when mixing a primary color with a secondary color. Now you're going to take a look at this blank wheel. What color do you think belongs here? So between violet and blue, what do you think belongs there? The blank is in between the primary color and the for primary color blue and the secondary color violet. That means that the missing color must be the tertiary or intermediate color blue violet. So the fun fact when naming tertiary intermediate colors, the primary color always comes first and the secondary comes second. Now for the interactive slide. Now that we've, fill, we've got one tertiary color filled in, let's figure out some more. This tertiary color is made up by mixing the primary colors, red, and the secondary color, violet. What color is it? And I want you to add the color names where they belong, okay? So blue and green, so what color would that be? And so forth, okay? So we have you're filling in this blank between red and violet and between blue and green. You're going to add that colors their color names right here. Now we're going to finish up by labeling the color wheel by dragging and dropping the color name boxes where they belong. So these are boxes that you could drag and drop. So you're going to drag and drop the colors circles, or they're not circles, they're boxes now, and you need onto the slide. So yellow and orange goes right here, and so forth. Now we're going to go into warm colors. Warm colors are primarily made up of hues, red, orange, and yellow, and all the colors in between. Warm colors are vivid and energetic and tend to be an advanced in space. So now I want you to select the images on the side, drag and drop, what you think is the best that represents warm color scheme and drop, drop it in the box. So which colors do you think out of these two paintings do you think represents the warm colors? So move the pieces where it goes. Now we're going to talk about cool colors. Cool colors are primarily made up of the hues green, blue, and purple, and all of the colors in between. Cool colors are very laid back, calm, and appear to recede or go backwards in space. So 
I want you to select the image that you think best represents a warm color scheme and drop it in the box below. Actually, I just noticed that I should say cool color below. So please notice that this is for uh, cool colors. Then we have the neutral colors. So they don't appear on the color wheel at all. They are colors white, black, gray, and brown. These colors are very muted and earthy. They are not bright and exciting. So this is Pablo Picasso. This is one of his famous paintings, Still Life with the Bottle of Rum of 1911. It doesn't fit in the color wheel or hue, as he's also known as. The color wheel is also known as hue. But they will, even though you don't see them, they are there. Finally, the work session. You're going to make your own color wheel of individual objects. You may not find a picture and copy it. You will need to find objects and use removebg.com, then insert them into your slide below or the next slide. So see the example here. So this is, the theme is office supplies. So this is my example. Now I want you to delete my picture and replace it with your objects. So make sure you identify your theme, such as fruits or vegetables or jungle or flowers. I am going to open up remove BG for you so that you can see it. So I'm typing in remove.bg, which is right here. And this is where you can upload any image from the web, from websites. So you can find a picture of fruit. Let's do this. Images of fruit and we can call, say copy, copy image. We're going to go back. Now all I have to do is push down on the button that says control. So re remember it's CTRL, control V, and then it automatically populates. And the background gets removed. Then I go and copy image. And I go back. And here I will copy in V or control V and my apple gets placed. So I'm going to be making a big spectrum of the color wheel using fruits, just like the theme is office supplies. So if you were to do fruit, you would type in fruit and then you would be making your own color wheel from assorted pictures that you find on the internet and make your own color wheel here. All right. And then finally, in closing, I want you to write a paragraph describing what you know about colors and the color wheel. I want you to discuss the colors and how colors make people feel and why color is important in interior design. And this is where you are going to write down your thoughts on these questions. So that is all. If you have any questions for me throughout this process, always feel free to join me during my office hours, 1145 to 1245 daily, or you feel free to ask me anytime during our Zoom classes. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and we'll be in touch soon. You guys take care.